my mid-year reset. Chill out. Hey, okay, you're gonna have to sit right here then. Hey guys, welcome to my mid-year reset. I cannot believe we are halfway through the year. Lately, I've been feeling ready to just kind of reset my mind, reset my space, look through my goals for 2023, refresh them, make some changes to the systems and the plans that we set in place at the beginning of the year and make it cater to who we are today. If you've been craving a little mid-year reset, I'm gonna be giving you guys tips and tricks on how to do a little mid-year reset for yourself so you can feel good going into the last half of the year because she's coming. We're gonna be in 2024 before we know it. Fall's gonna be here before we know it, which I can't wait. The holidays are are gonna be here before we know it. It's, just, it's gonna be such a great season. I just wanna put a disclaimer. If you're not feeling like you need a mid-year reset, then by all means, skip the mid-year reset, okay? Not everyone needs one. Not everyone cares to change up their routine or change up what they're doing. I know for me, I change as the seasons change. I change as the months change. And I am so open to changing my routine, my plans, my system to make them better and to make them more aligned with who who I am currently right now. My little two cents, a little quick disclaimer for y'all. But yeah, if you're ready to reset, come along, let's reset together. Let's reset together. Oh. Are you resetting with mommy too? Are you resetting with mommies? Yeah. new productive habits. We are so different than who we were at the beginning of the year. Janet today in June 2023 is not the same Janet that was here in January of 2023. My priorities, my wants, my needs are so different than they were in January. Seasons change, we change, our mindsets change, and it's important to move with those changes. It's important to lean into those changes. Don't be afraid of changing your priorities up. It is normal. And one thing that leads us to burnout and one thing that leads us to slumps is that we're so afraid to change our routines up. Because guess what? As the year changes, your routine is gonna change and you should feel excited about that. You should feel excited about the new habits that you're going to establish as the year rolls on. Janet today in June, 2023 is not the same Janet that she was in January of 2023. And that's okay. My workout routine has changed drastically. I used to wake up at 4.45 a.m. and get a 5 a.m. workout done three to four times a week. Now my workouts happen later in the day and I wake up in the morning and I am more focused on more self-care. I'm more focused on watching the sun rise and like just having more of a peaceful start to the day and my productive habits are just way different. I'm more focused on getting into my devotional in the morning and making sure I'm keeping up with that. I'm more focused on keeping my mental health in check so I can show up in other ways in my life. You do not need to go through the habits that you've built up and change everything. That is not productive, okay? And that will be way too overwhelming. But look at the things that are working. Look at the things that aren't working. Look at the things that you desire to have more of in your everyday life. I want you to look at your productive habits that you have set in place right now. I need you to go through and think about what's working, think about what's not working, and from there, make the changes that are necessary to align with your priorities today. months and do a quick declutter because one thing about me is I don't really like a super daunting 
yearly reset, yearly declutter at the very beginning of the year. I like to just go into the year feeling good and not tired and exhausted from the new year and then exhausted from cleaning and deep cleaning and decluttering. So it's less daunting for me to go through my stuff every six months, clear out the things I don't want, keep the things that I do want. I take the clothes that I like and I'm not ready to donate upstairs and I put them in storage until the season that is appropriate for them. And then I take the clothes that I know I'm never gonna wear ever again. I put them in this bag. Michael and I have been doing this and we're gonna be donating a whole bunch of clothes that we just no longer wear. Decluttering throughout the year is much better than decluttering once a year, honestly, for me personally. Lately, I've been sharing with you guys pieces that I'm adding to my wardrobe that make me feel more confident, that make me feel happier. I wanted to share with you guys some pieces that were sent to me from Honey Love, and I wanna thank Honey Love for sponsoring this portion of the video. Honey Love offers bras, bodysuits, leggings, and shapewear for any occasion. And one thing I love about them is that they are so size inclusive. They have size is ranging from extra small to a 3x. I was so excited to find pieces that just fit nicely on my shape because I have a bigger chest and it's so hard for me to find bras that are not only great and that keep me all the way in but that are cute too because I want to be cute as well and when it comes to wearing dresses which is one thing I've been loving wearing lately I really want to feel a little bit more put together so they sent me some of their shapewear to try out. This is the cross over cami. These camis are so popular right now. The cami is cute. I got it in this black color. It has this sexy mesh detailing right here. It has a built-in non-wire bra and the pads are removable. Perfect to wear under dresses. You can also wear this with just some jeans. I love this so much. I got this in a medium. I got the crossover bra. This one also has the sexy mesh lining right here. The cut pads are removable. There is no wire. The straps are adjustable, which is amazing. I got this in a medium as well. It fits so well. I am not spilling out of the bra at all. I love how secure I feel in this. Like, so secure. This is the super power thong shapewear. It has straps. I got it in the thong. This also comes in a full panty and a full short. Contours right here it goes in like a corset. It has boning here as well. The tummy control on this is immaculate, okay? I feel like it is holding me all the way in, but I also don't feel uncomfortable at the same time, which is important to me because I don't want to feel uncomfortable. If you're interested in trying Honey Love products, I highly recommend them. It feels good to have products that not only fit my chest, but that are cute too, girl, okay? My link is going to be down below in the description box. Click the link, try out Honey Love, and thank you Honey Loves for sponsoring this portion of the video. <laughs> It's time to talk about our 2023 goals. I try to check in on my 2023 goals every quarter, but it feels like it's been a while. So let's get into our goals and intentions for 2023. I use Selena Trevino's goals and intentions tracker template. She's a content creator here in the space. I love Selena's content so much. I'll leave her link down below and I love her template. So let's get into it. I haven't opened it in a while. Okay, so let's get in to our goals. Our health and wellness goals for 2023 to work out three to four times a week, which I have been doing that so far. On average, I have been working out three to four times a week. And I think that setting just a smaller goal for myself this year has just set me up for success in so many ways. Do I take some time off? Yes, okay? Sometimes I do take like a week off every once in a while from working out, but on average, I am trying to hit three to four times a week. And in the past, I used to take these month long breaks, which weren't great. So it feels good to be staying on track. Run a 5K, we haven't done that yet, okay? 
to be continued because we just started running again, Michael and I, and we are definitely eager to sign up for one. So stay tuned for that. Heal my relationship with food. I have been in the kitchen so much. I have been saying that I'm in my cooking era. I feel so good to be back in the kitchen, trying new recipes. I've been loving being in the kitchen and I've been so proud of myself for getting back in the kitchen consistently. If you watch my videos and you've seen me, in my cooking era. Let's talk about our personal and professional goals. So my first one was 100K on YouTube, and we don't have that yet, okay? But right now we are sitting at about um, 68,000 or six, 68,890. This year I have gained around 35,000 subscribers total and I need 31,000 subscribers to hit 100K. Well, if you hit 35 in the first six months, then you'll probably hit 31 in the next six months, but that's not technically how it works, okay? Your growth at the beginning of the year does not mean that it's gonna be like equal to your growth at the end of the year. And there's so many factors that play into it, but honestly, I'm just having so much fun creating fun content and if it happens I'm gonna be super excited if it doesn't I'm still gonna be super excited about almost hitting it and yeah we haven't hit it yet and I have a feeling we'll hit it soon not soon soon but I have a feeling we will hit 100k if not this year at the beginning of next year to become a certified personal trainer I have signed up for my NASM certification I have not done a dang thing though <laughs> that's not funny that's horrible y'all know if you watch a lot of my videos, you know I have the worst procrastination when it comes to things like this. So I need to structure out a plan for studying because you have six months to take the test and I need to basically take the test by December, which that's more than enough time for me. I just haven't started yet. <laughs> I'm excited to get started. I just haven't started yet and we will soon but at least I've signed up for the course I've signed up for it and I have access to everything. I just haven't sat down and got started with it. So We need to sit down and get started with this very soon create a digital product and I said maybe in 2024 which I haven't done any of that and Maybe sometime soon. We'll see now that I'm looking at it it might ignite some creative sparks in me. So let's stay tuned for that. Relaunch Dreamy, have not done that yet, but I was planning on doing that more towards the end of the year, which we're already working on that. But I wanna add a new personal goal, and that is to be more creative. And I've been trying to be more creative offline. So like painting, pottery so i'm hoping to get started on more creative hobbies throughout the year here soon and i actually want to add one more thing to my health and wellness goals i want to take a tennis class so yeah i want to take a tennis class or play tennis either one whatever happens first i really want to do that this year um we watched king richard the other day which is basically venus and serena williams story and i just was so inspired by it so i was like i want to play tennis i want to be a tennis player <laughs> okay, financial goals. I still keep up with my budget. Okay, I haven't done one in a video in a long time because I'm just trying to switch things up, guys. But I will leave the budget template that I use down below. It's by Caitlin Kerbler. She's a creator here as well. I love her budget template. I have not done it in a video recently, but I'm hoping to get back to it soon. I just don't know when. I am budgeting on my own and I want to keep up with my budget. And I'll link the budget template that I use down below. Um, save 10K, which I have saved 10K. Learn about investing, which I am investing my money currently, which is interesting. <laughs> I finished The Perfect Marriage, so I have books I want to read. The Perfect Marriage is done. Atomic Habits is done. Um, I haven't done It Starts With Us, and I have not started the 5 a.m. club, so. I basically need to be more intentional with my personal and professional goals. I need to get on top of my certification program. None of my personal and professional goals have been hit yet, and that is okay because you have the year to work through those, and I've been setting systems to get these things done, but I need to be more mindful on the systems and the plans I set in place for the next six months to get these personal and professional goals done, checked off by the end of the year, okay? I am determined, and I'm so glad I did this so I can put some fire under my butt. So let me know if you've hit any of your 2023 goals, how you feel about your 2023 goals. Are there any things that you're changing? Let me know down below.
Now it is time to look at the strategy and look at the plans that you set in place at the beginning of the year. Is there anything that you would like to change about your current strategy? Take some time to look at what's working and what's not working with your strategy and set new systems in place to achieve your goals in the next couple of months. The beginning of this year, hyper productivity was my thing. I was getting things done like crazy and self care was kind of on the back burner for me. Now moving towards the end of the year, I want a balance of both. I want to be productive, but I also want self care to be just as important for me. So that means getting onto my creative grind like going to pottery class going to painting class all of that stuff i also want to take that tennis class that i said i wanted to take really stepping out of my comfort zone to really nourish my mind in a great way to keep myself super excited about my goals i need to get more serious about my personal and professional goals like i said before and set systems in place for those so 100k on youtube how am i going to hit that well lately I have been doing more content that has been just a little bit more chill, which there's nothing wrong with it, but I haven't been doing a lot of like searchable content. And one thing that helped me grow a lot at the beginning of the year was really sticking towards searchable content, content that people find very, very useful, like very useful. My content has been useful, but it's like more vlogs and just more about me, which I love, but I do need to get back into a balance with my content being more useful, more of value, obviously, and having a mix of like the things I like, like vlogging and stuff like that. For my certification course, <laughs> I need to come up with a study plan. Y'all know me, I talk about myself all the time on this channel. I'm the biggest procrastinator when it comes to studying. I was so bad in school. But um, yeah, your girl has not been in school in years. Okay, so signing up for this course, it just makes me feel really awkward. It's like I have work to do, but I don't know how to get started. So a goal of mine this week is just to get started on the study course. I need to start the study course this week. No exceptions, I need to start it. And then I need to go through and make a nice plan for myself on how I'm gonna study for the next couple of months because I wanna take that test preferably by November. Preferably, we'll see. But yeah, I need to get on my study grind. So give me your study tips down below. And yeah, I just wanna make sure that I am being balanced with self-care and just discipline, basically. I want self-care and discipline to be balanced. I wanna get the things that I need to get done, done, but I also wanna take care of myself while doing these things. My mental health is so important and the thing is mental health is important in general. We need to take care of ourselves so we're able to pour into other people, so we're able to just be happy throughout our lifetime and we're able to have a clear mind to strategize the goals that we've set in place, right? You're not gonna be able to set systems if you are not feeling well mentally. So you have to take care of yourself first. Don't forget it. Don't forget it, guys. I hope this 2023 reset routine was very helpful for you. I hope that you found some value in this and let me know how you feel about this last half of the year. I just can't believe we're already halfway through. It went by so fast, so that means this last half is gonna go by even faster, okay? Fall is gonna be here before we know it and then that's just basically the end of the year. Like basically, which is crazy. But thank you guys for being on this ride with me. It's been so fun to share my self-development journey with you guys. And it's been so fun to hear your stories down below. You guys are so inspiring to me. I'm so inspired to learn about what you're going through, about what you're doing to get yourself motivated, what you're doing to stay on track with your goals, what you're doing to feel good about yourself. You guys are so inspiring to me every day, so thank you. Thank you for being a source of inspiration for me. I thank you so much. All right, guys. Well, I will see you guys in the next video. Mahalo. Bye.